Donald Miller. So, Electrician 2.5, you know, asked an important question. And I guess he's having difficulty teaching an apprentice. Um, and it is a daunting task teaching guys through an apprenticeship. It is. It's, it's not easy, um, especially if you're trying to get these guys to, to learn uh, to become a respectable tradesman. All right. Just because it's rarely taught. And it's hard, like, if you look at the amount of electricians out there, only like maybe 20, for, not even 20% are licensed. They're usually working underneath another license. So to find a guy that's licensed that you're going to learn from, it's it's tough to do. So, to teach guys, all right, one, there's got to be a level of respect between the apprentice and the mechanic, okay, at all times. They're, like, they're, there's a level that's not crossed, okay, and it has to be held by both people. If, if it's not held by both people, you get into this... Like, I've watched our relationships turn into these really unhealthy, passive-aggressive relationships between two people. And it doesn't benefit either one of them. The benefit of an apprentice relationship, mentor relationship, at the end of that time, the apprentice is supposed to be a mechanic. He's supposed to be able to buy a house. He's supposed to be able to support himself. He's supposed to go through life changes that make him a respectable adult um, and a pillar in the community. All right. It's not easy to do. Like it's especially in a trade that's riddled with drugs and alcohol. So one, you know, like an, if an alcoholic or a druggie comes up to me and says, I want an apprenticeship. Nine times out of ten, I would tell the guy just to get away from me. I'm not going to waste my time on him because it's it's daunting on my end. It's it's very difficult to teach someone the trade and teach it in a correct manner. It's easy to tell someone this is how you do an outlet, go do an outlet, but to 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 take a, a person on a personality, everything about him, and teach him about how he's living on the site as well as off the site. And that's what an apprenticeship is though. It's teaching a guy not just electric, but how to conduct himself and how to be successful. Um, at least that's what I I went through and that's what I teach. Um, if you are an apprentice of mine, all right? So, Electrician215 two, was talking about a guy that He's having difficulties teach. Well, one, there's got to be a level of respect. And then as long as that level of respect is there, you can easily just pull him aside and tell him to shut up. Like you're trying to teach him something that clearly he doesn't know. So like there's, that's usually when one of my guys is fighting what I'm trying to teach. I pull him aside. I tell him to shut up in a, depends if he's really pissing me off I just flat out say shut up if he's just not understanding I'll pull him aside and, and talk to him and and politely tell him like listen dude I know you think you know but based on your actions you don't I am here for your guidance if you're refusing to take my guidance then you must know more than me at this point and if that's the case, then you teach me what, I, what I'm what i not seeing. And do it in a serious manner, not in a spiteful manner. And the apprentice should explain himself. And if he's wrong, which nine times out of ten they are, you explain to them the correct manner and ask him to stop 
putting in his own two cents. Um, but I break, like, that's, like, when you, one, I'm coming from a posi position of success. I have a track record. I can prove my success. And that carries a lot of weight when you're, when you're teaching someone because that's what you're offering them. So if you're if you can't offer them except for I'm going to teach you, well, what are you teaching them? And that's going to that's why I you know, if you're going to be a mentor, what do you have like your success, you got to look behind you and be like, "Listen, this is what I've created with my own success. I'm going to teach you so you can get that." All right. If you have nothing to offer him, except for, you know, I don't know, like I guess, how to have a job, like, I, then by all means, maybe you shouldn't be a mentor. But if you have a track record of success and your apprentice does not, well, that's what you're teaching him. You're teaching him to have a track record of success. And if your apprentice has thinking, thinking, you got to point out to him that his thinking has gotten him this far in life. And it's not very far. He needs to stop thinking and start learning. And then by learning your methods and your abilities, he can get out of that rut and become as successful as you are. That's not always easy to convey to the apprentice. There's a lot of stuff you're dealing with when you take on an apprentice. You're taking on, if they're, if they're fresh out of high school, you're dealing with a guy that is king of the hill. He's right out of high school and now he's taking all that confidence and going into a trade he knows nothing about. Okay, and you know, you you want to break him in, but you don't want to break his spirit. Okay, and that has to be handled in a very, in a certain way. That's number one, okay. When you deal with guys that are coming from the pool, and the pool is like these big companies that you know, your friends are teaching each other electric, but you're not really learning any proper installation methods. When you get guys from the pool, it's almost like you have to get them to see things differently because they don't mean to make the mistakes they make half the time. Half the time, that's the way they were taught and they wanna show you that they can do things. So they just go about doing all these wrong methods of installation thinking they're showing you that they know how to do things. So again, a different teaching method has to be approached there. And every apprentice is different. Like it's so, arrogance is always gonna come with it if the guy doesn't, arrogance is gonna come with it because this is an independent trade and our confidence is built on what we know. And if we don't know a whole lot, we make up for it with personality. A lot, like I've seen guys try to be my friend because they didn't know anything. And they thought by being my friend, it, they would be entitled to, to different stuff. Not gonna happen. And then they, <laughs> they, grow, they get their feelings all hurt when I tell him I'm not their friend. <laughs> and this is Pops. And Pops, that's what he... Pops, so we had a guy, Pops, on our... Um, on, on some of our sites, okay? And what Pops likes to do is... Uh, Pops likes to be your friend. So when he goes and he gets drunk and wasted... He still has a job when he comes back. So I told him, 
work comes first. If you have good work ethics, I will respect you. And then we can become friends later on. I'm not just going to become friends with people that want to be friends with me because motives. Who knows why he wants to be friends with me? He could be friends with me because he wants to rob me. Technically, if you're like a druggie and you're trying to get a job with me and you're my friend, that's what you are trying to do. You're trying to rob money from me. Um, so, back at it. There's... Being a mentor is extremely difficult, and it you it's a it's you really have to have your ducks in order to be one, okay. And at least if you want your apprentice to respect you, okay. Apprentices are supposed to look up to you as a pillar and an example, okay, an example of what they want to become. Not necessarily like they don't like I have I have flaws, okay? I have an anger, I have a temper, I try to hold it back and I try to explain myself more today. But um that aside, when I teach guys, I want them to become as good as I am electrically, and then they can put their own personal spin to it. As long as the electrical portion is there. They can bring their own personality into it, okay? But it's it's a tough nut teaching guys and getting them to a to a master mechanic level. And anyone that is a true a true mentor understands that, because oftentimes the ones that we want to teach or the ones that start learning they just leave for like an extra dollar more an hour by some bullshit company or they start doing side work and they think they can make money i honored my commitment to fuzzy where i didn't do side work when i thought i could i waited for him to say that i could go do side work okay it was a respect thing towards him because he took the time out to teach me. So out of respect for him, I waited until he said it was good for me to do side work. And I went and did side work. I I let him judge my, my experience level. And actually, he's the one that told me to go get licensed. I wanted to stay underneath his wing and just kind of ride his coattails because one, I was good. Two, I was young. I was only 23 years old when I got mastered, okay? I didn't want to go get mastered yet, but he knew my apprenticeship was up. Like, I was ready, and he knew what I had to do. If it wasn't for him, I might not have the business I have today. He pushed me out and pushed me to go get my own business, okay? Um, so, the... There's a level of success that the mentor needs to have before I think apprentices start listening. And I mean listening like inside listening, okay? Because when I was younger, you know, I really, I took on a couple apprentices, but they, you know, they were more just younger guys that I was able to get their foot in the door. And I learned a lot of mistakes I made. I yelled at guys too much. Um, there's a couple guys that probably still have ill feelings towards me today because I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have mentored them because I was too young to be a mentor myself and I should have waited and I didn't. And now those, even though they're still in the trade, I took them from nothing and I got them in the trade and they're still in this trade today. So I did something good for them. I think I was a little hard on them and I shouldn't have been. Okay. And their, their life, their lessons I had to learn. So, as far as apprentices not listening, I think it's more a respect thing than an ego thing on the apprentice side. If the apprentice doesn't respect you, then he's definitely not going to listen to you. And if his ego is, or if he's too arrogant, then there's a conversation you did not have with your apprentice before this relationship started. And that conversation does need to be had. So, 
it's a little long-winded of a video, but it is a di like from a mentor side, it is very difficult apprenticing guys, dealing with all the different personalities, and there's a lot of guys don't even know their own hang-ups, and even when you tell them, they don't understand their hang-ups. So. It's, and you gotta tread lightly, and it's gotta be a, like a relationship that there's, there's a lot of caring involved. You, there's, you guys gotta work on your communication skills. All right, um, yeah, that's it for this Tuesday. God bless, enjoy uh, your day.